Hello, Entrepods, and welcome to season three. This season, we are interviewing and talking about ethical entrepreneurs who are making money and changing our world. Join us as we discover how we can step into power as creators and business owners to reshape business into one that values humanity, our planet, and our shared future. You won't want to miss a single episode. Tell me one tip that you use now with clients to get them out of that fear, even terror, in order to transform into really, it's an opportunity. The universe is hitting you hard over the head to say, hey, wake up. We got something better for you. Go ahead. Oh, what I found truly interesting was, was that I was repeating a pattern that my family had done and that I had lived through as a child. And I was repeating it as the adult with my own children. Now, all of those things that I talked about happened within a four-year time period. So that's how fast that was. But there was one more step that happened, one more thing, because during that time, um, I was living with my spiritual partner at the time. And at the end of the two years, he decided to become domestically violent towards me. And he pinned me down on the sofa one day, had his hand around my throat and his fist up and was ready to knock me out as I was taking my last breath. And what was happening in my mind was I was just sitting there staring, looking straight at him because I couldn't do anything else. And I was in extreme terror and extreme pain and I couldn't breathe. And I remember when he took his hand off of me and he pulled me up and handed me this exercise board and said, it's your turn, hit me with this. I deserve this. And I looked up at him and looked at the board and looked back and said, I can't do that. And I put the board down and I walked out of the room. And that was when I made a promise and I dedicated my life to this healing path because I knew there was a different way. And so I made that promise. I got myself to safety. I got my children to safety. And ever since then, I have been fulfilling that promise to myself, to energy, to spirit, to creator, to whatever you want to call it, because I was kept safe. And now I have this ability to share it, share it with others, teach others, do it for them. So everybody can start growing in this other way. So what is one tip that I can share with anybody is awareness is the key. Being aware of how you truly feel on the inside without ignoring it. I ignored all of those warning signs, discounting how I felt in the process. And if you just stop and even set a timer on your phone for every you know two hours and 33 minutes or something. And when it goes off, stop, take a breath and see how you feel on the inside. Because if you're in a happy, joyful, fun state, keep going. But if you're in stress, worry, pressure, denial, addiction, <laughs> fear, trauma, stop. And you're going to take a moment. And I'm going to have you do a quick little breathing exercise because when you breathe in, you breathe in the oxygen, all the good things that your body needs. And when you breathe out, you breathe out the carbon dioxide, all the things the body doesn't need. So say you're paying the bills and your timer goes off and you realize how much stress you really do have. And there's not enough money. There's a lack or um, you wish you had more or you have just enough to get by. And there's some worry and some pressure. What you're going to do is you identify what that lower feeling is. I have stress. And then you identify how you really want to feel. And it might be peace. So when you breathe in, you breathe in peace. You breathe out stress. And you do that for three to five minutes. And what happens is, is your physiological state in the body is going to change. You're going to have less tension. The body's going to relax. You're going to go more into a peaceful state. The stress starts to leave. You have more focus, clarity, and balance. And then when you go back to your work and continue paying the bills, you're doing it from a different point of energy. Instead of from a place of stress and worry, you're doing it from a place of peace and balance, which opens up the doorway for more money to come in for you. So that's one thing every person can do on a conscious level without going through like the financially fit program to learn all the ins and outs of the technique to really make a change permanent. 